Hi guys, I've got a lawn tractor here today and I want to show you how to get rid of rodents nests that are formed in some engine compartments. And I want to talk about why it's important to get rid of these nests from your engine. And also I will talk briefly about how to prevent this in the future. So first of all, if I pop the hood on this tractor, you can see that there's a dead mouse here by the oil filter. You can see some hay sticking out from the engine cowlings all around the spark plug here as well. There's hay on the flywheel fins. And there's more hay here around the starter and near the air filter here as well. So first of all I'm going to get rid of this nest and I need to remove the top cover here. There's 3 8 bolts on each side of it. I'm going to remove that right now. On this tractor here I need to remove the 4 5 16 bolts that hold the cover here. And this gives a much better view of the hay build up inside the flywheel. It's really important to get this flywheel clean because it will stop the proper airflow to the engine. Now I'm just going to take off the air filter cover and see what's under there. And it's not too bad where the air filter is but I am going to air blow that off. Now if you are going to air blow some stuff with rodents nests I do highly recommend some kind of mask and safety glasses. The reason for the mask is that so you don't breathe in dust particles with disease on it. Sometimes mice can have hantavirus and you can breathe it in and get sick. And there's quite a bit of stuff underneath the pre-filter here. Now I need to take off all the 3 8 bolts that go around the engine cowling. Actually on this engine you can leave the bolts partially bolted in because the cowling just slides over. And there's one quarter inch bolt here that needs to come out now at this point I should be able to lift the cowling. So you can see quite a bit of rodent activity inside the engine there. At this point however I do need to remove this cowling over here. There's a bolt over here. And there's a bolt underneath. Now at this point I suggest you keep this mask on and get some gloves. And I'm going to get this mouse out of here. And it actually looks like there's babies there. And here are the mice that you can see from outside the engine. It looks like a mother mouse with uh, babies. But it looks like they've been dead for quite a while. When it's bad like this, I like to get a garbage bag just for this stuff, put it in there. Then I can seal the bag and throw it away. Now I'm going to try to get out as much as I can by hand here. And do the same on the other side. I didn't take the cowling off on this side, but I'll make sure it's clean. At this point here, I'm going to use the air gun again. Make sure you have your safety equipment on. I did plug the carburetor hole here as well. So once you get it cleaned out like this, it's pretty good to be reassembled. Now the main reason guys you want to keep your engine clean is so that the engine can cool itself down properly. Now what's going to happen guys if you don't clean out your engine when it has nests like that is that it's going to overheat. It stops the proper flow of the air from the flywheel to the cylinders. You could end up damaging a cylinder if it's not cooling properly. And also if you clean out the nests it may discourage the mice to come back in. And what I see often as well is that they will chew the coil wires. They'll chew the smaller wires that go to the coil and then people get shorts and their tractor stops running properly. And as a matter of fact I can see a bit of damage here on the wire. This is exactly what I'm talking about. And I'll cover it with some shrink tubing. And I'll shrink it with the torch heat today. Now I've reconnected it to the coil. Now's a good time to examine all the other wires closely. And these go out of the engine and the rest looks pretty good. And sometimes the nests can end up clogging the air filter as well. So your engine wouldn't run properly and it would consume a lot of fuel. 
So now I can reassemble the engine here. And I'm going to reinstall the engine cowling. Now don't forget the quarter inch bolt that goes here. Now I am going to reinstall a new air filter. And now make sure you've tightened up all the bolts. There was a bolt on each side of this cover here. The cowling has multiple bolts on each side. Then you have the four bolts on top here, the small bolt under the filter, and that's it. Now what I want to mention to you guys is how you can prevent this from happening in the first place. Probably the most efficient thing to keep them away from the engine is to have mothball placed all over the engine. You can put them over here, you can put some here. You could even place mothballs under the engine here and on the ground where it's stored. If you keep mothballs all around the tractor, they're more likely not going to approach it in the first place. If you don't have mothballs, you can use scented dryer sheets and place them around the engine as well. You can place them on the ground too. But the better thing that I recommend, guys, is to use mothballs. The scent is much stronger and it's more of a repellent than actually using dryer sheets. And basically you can do this all year round because the mice will make nests in the engines at all times of the year. Especially if you don't use your tractor much, it sits there. They get used to the fact that it's always there and they start nesting in there. If you use it a lot during the summertime, like every week, chances are the mice will not get in there. But as a precaution, you can always put a few mothballs on the ground or on the tractor when you're not using it. And you saw in there the mice had chewed a wire so you can see the potential damage that they can cause. Not just the damage to parts but also labor. If you have to take your tractor into a shop you may have to replace coils and the labor can be a bit expensive as well. So this is an easy maintenance tip that anybody can do. If you do suspect there is a nest, take the cowling off, double check, clean it out and put it back together. And by doing this guys you can prevent yourself a lot of problems in the future and save yourself a lot of money. Thanks again for watching. Make sure to subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, and Instagram. And have yourselves a great day.